All right. So I think what I'm going to do is to start. I'll start with you, Lala. Okay. And then, well, yes, you will join us in the course of the discussions. All right. So, I mean, Lala, I think the Jewel needs no discussion. Not that's a discussion, introduction. <laughs> she is, <laughs> she is a, an entertainer, an actor that wears so many hats. I mean, she's more talented with a lot of things. Sometimes even I can't keep up with the things that she does. <laughs> and I've known you for what? Say 17 years or so. There and yes, yes. And every day, I mean, we discover new things about your career, what you're doing and all of that. And I thought that you were a perfect example of, you know, practical personal branding. You know, the word branding, mm -hmm. a lot of people just use it. They use it everywhere. They just use it anyhow, you know. And it's okay, you know, buzzwords, they happen like that with buzzwords but i want us to talk about practical things that you used to build your your career as a an actor you i think you I believe you started on stage and then you evolved into various other platforms you sing you write you're a casting director you're a producer you're an entrepreneur <laughs> in fact there's a lot and i imagine that you've had a lot of challenges you've had a lot of dreams on the way and you've, you've overcome challenges in the process to build what you have built today so um the questions i prepared will really really help us to dig into it a bit please guys if you have any questions please drop them in the chat and we'll get to it at some point like i said i want us to be out of here in an hour i just hope that timmy can join us on time so i'll ask you so at what point in your career did you start being deliberate about your personal brand at what point was mm -hmm. it i mean started? no I mean, to be honest, when I, when I started, I didn't even know much about personal branding because it was just, we just, I just wanted to work. But by the time I was um, leaving uni lag, courtesy of people like you who were in mass comm and you people were into advertising and all those things. And I was always yeah. around you guys. I started to like hear those words around branding and things, but um, I don't think that anything serious started with me and branding until I started studying for my master's. And then mm. my master's took me into the world of media and communication. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. after that, um, I think it was when I got like my second manager, to be honest. I, I, I used to be managed by Ascent Talent Management with Inya mm -hmm. Lawal. And she was the one who even like started to tweak me for lack of a better word. So yeah. then I, for example, I didn't have an Instagram account because I mm. didn't think Instagram what was Instagram. I was so deep, mm -hmm. but, you know, I, I, um, I had only Twitter and she insisted. And I was like, look, I don't have time to be posting pictures. And what even got to her was she was like, you've done so much work, but nobody knows all this work that you've done or that you're doing. And she was like, you have to start mm. to show yourself. So I mm. think that was the beginning of the journey, even though she didn't call it branding. So with mm. opening the Instagram account, we now got started to pay attention to image, mm. you know, um, mm. and then even more seriously. So image, how do you want to look? Now, these were things, and if you, if you check my, my journey, and if you just like Google me and you check pictures, maybe from like 2012, Mm. 20, even 2010 you know I won feature I was in 2010 there was no I mean the person that made my outfit asked me some questions that with hindsight were branding yes. questions because she was like yes. how do you want to mm. look? Mm. are you do you mm. want to expose skin mm. um um what kind of hair you know and these are the things that now I know are branding things mm. so yes that was the beginning honestly um, and I guess the brand has just start continued to evolve because the questions mm. have stayed the same. So we've gone from knowing how you want to look to what do I represent as Lala to what do I want people mm. to think about when they see me, when they see my pictures, um, what, um, what kind of makeup person am I, you know, all of that. And, you know, even in coining words that, you know, mm. am I your girl next door? Am I, you know, all these questions yeah. I've had to ask myself and then come to answers. And I think it has helped me sort of narrow down and really know what my brand, my personal brand is. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. If I hear you correctly, you've talked about a lot of details, you know, paying attention to the words you use to describe yourself, paying yeah. attention to the way you are presented to the public, 
Yeah. You know, even possibly paying attention to even the kind of things, the productions and things you you got on board. Yes, absolutely. With yes, which is very important. Which is very important. All right, thank you um, so much for that. Anybody has questions, please drop them in the chat. Like I said, all right. So people are motivated by different things. Some by power, you know, recognition, growth. What would you be? I mean, some people by even you know, creative people. They're just, they're, you know, they're driven by oh my god, my legacy. So how would you say the key things that drive your brand, like the, like the three key values? Three key values for Lala Kindoju. After, you know, I'm old and gray and I've done my best, I, I died empty. These are the things that I want to be remembered for years, you know, decades, decades to come. Okay, oh, Timmy, answer, yeah. here. Yeah. All right. Hey, Timmy. All right, so let me unmute his video. Let me find him somewhere and unmute his video so you can say hello to Hi, Timmy. Please start. Um, I've just invited you to start your video so you can join us. Everybody else is still on mute, please. Did Timmy wake up? Thank you for joining. Me. Thank you, like. He's wearing a cap. <laughs> Timmy, why are you like this? <laughs> Anything goes. Hi. Anything hi, goes. hi. Lala, what's up? <laughs> hi, hi, now. Good day, everybody. You know, like, hi, my children were doing some online schooling, so they locked me out of my Zoom. That's what I've been struggling oh, to. Oh, out of your account. Yes, they locked oh, me out. Oh, so oh, I've been oh. struggling to. <laughs> then I saw signing again. All right. Really All right. Thank sorry. you. Thank you, you so much. Not late. <laughs> Welcome. You're not too late. No, no, you're good. You're not too, too late. So I think what I'll do, can I quickly press a, um, press a pause on that, Lala? I will come back to you. Can I quickly ask, let me ask Timmy that question. So before you came in, Okay. Thank you, Lala. So before you came in, and Timmy, we're asking Lala about, you know, her personal brand and at what point did she become deliberate? You know, apps, we all evolve with time. We all grow and learn. So, I mean, we don't know everything from the beginning. At what point did your, you and your, maybe your management start becoming deliberate about your brand? You as a person specifically. At what point did you start saying, oh, this is what I want to do and I will not do this, but this is good for me and this is it? First, first of all, um, I, I would define myself like an as, accidental. Sorry, yeah, it, it, wasn't plan, like, it wasn't a plan. It wasn't a plan, plan, plan. Okay, I think mm. I, I would, I would classify myself as an accidental musician because it wasn't necessarily <laughs> plan from the beginning. Like, okay, plans. I don't know how company all this kind of yes and all that. So when I came mm. to when the music actually approached me that I should mm. do it a favor. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when, when I actually decided that this music is what I was going to do, mm -hmm. there's something called the music that is, it's called the music criteria, meaning like how you interpret music to be. Like mm -hmm. you're, when somebody says music, what are the kind of music that comes to your mind? Okay. It's different for different people. It depends on your yeah. upbringing. Depends on yeah. the kind of music you first encounter while growing up. That mm. that from what you think music should sound like and feel mm. like. To some mm. people, you can't tell them not the only music. All other kind of music does not exist. To mm. some other people, it's akpala. You get? I I'd, mm. I'd always been in a choir setting, 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 setting like that. But mm. it wasn't to take this whole thing like seriously, seriously like that. So I had I had formed over years what I actually thought music should sound like. So when I decided to do this music, it mm. was that. It was those sound like, it was those things in front of me like, okay, this is how music should sound like. Every mm. once in a while, in the, in, the, in the crowd of music around you, you want to just deviate a bit, then, then you'll be quickly reminded that, ah, this thing not gonna work for you. Mm. Mm. So mm. it's, okay. You streamline okay. what you want as an art into yeah. over time. As you okay. go on the journey of what you're doing, you begin mm. to say, okay, I can't do that. No, no. Okay. But well, you can't say that, you can't say that, oh, this was the exact time. You know, because no. we all, all evolved differently. So it's a problem. Fair enough. Fair enough. Unlearn a lot of things mm. that you get, you begin to unlearn, like, okay, this is not going to work for me. 
first mm. of all, you mm. can say, okay, ah, let me let me dive into this one. Then you discover, ah, you must be intentional. If not, you do everything and nothing in particular. Mm. Yes, you must say, okay, exactly. And which is the point? Yeah, no, go on, go on. Like you must say, no, no, at some I... point, it's, it's out of maturity that you begin to say, let me cut all these things. Mm. Mm. Let me cut mm. all these things by the wayside. They look interesting. Mm-hmm. They feel interesting. They probably give me more recognition, but that's not for mm-hmm. me. That is that is mm-hmm. me lying to myself just to please everybody else. Mm-hmm. This is what mm-hmm. I would do, and this is what we feel like. Me. This is my brand. This is my brand to say, okay, everybody's doing shake your bum bum, show me your booty, show me your this thing. It's, to a lot mm-hmm. of people, it's acceptable. But mm-hmm. if I do it, even you that tell me, I want you try that, you would look at me and say, you know, this thing is not your thing. Mm. Like, you will know that this, I'm struggling. It's like me sitting in a club at like 3.30 3, 3 in the morning. People are, it's people's life, they enjoy it. But me, mm-hmm. by 11.30, I want to sleep. But I would have found mm-hmm. one corner in the club and be sleeping while everybody's partying. Because mm. it's not me. To some people, that is how they are. That is how, it's, my brand is, I, I want to sing something that I actually give you an experience, mm. not just to excite you necessarily. Mm-hmm. All right. So I like some of the things you said, you know, about being at the end of the day authentic to who you are, which is what I say to people about branding, whether it's in entertainment or in business, consulting mm-hmm. or social development or whatever it is. So many things along the way would look nice to you. But if you need to, if you have sat down and thought through what your brand is going to be going forward, it's like a blueprint for your life. Oh, this is what I, these are the things that I'm going to, this is my vision, this is yeah. my mission, these are the things I need to achieve. And some things, on the way would look interesting, but they don't necessarily fit. I have some tough questions on the way for you guys, though. <laughs> but let's keep going. All right, so Lala was going to ask, you know, she, oh, sorry, she was going to say the things that motivate her. So things that maybe would be her brand values. If you were going to use three words to describe your, your brand values, mm. things that motivate you, that drive you at all times, then I'll come to team. Three keywords. I mean, I think I'm not going to my branding journey. Mm. Yeah, hard work. Okay. I've seen that a lot. <laughs> hard work. I've seen that a lot. Diligence. I've seen that. I don't know. Mm. Diligence and hard work. Can they be... I don't know. My English is not so great. They are very close. They are very, very close. <laughs> so let's not waste They are very, very close. So let's just leave hard work, consistency, mm. and mm. the legacy. Okay. Hard work, consistency. The hard work and the consistency are also very close. So I need just a little bit more description. Something I like the consistency, but it's close to the hard hard work. Diligence. You can put them together, maybe. Yes. Yes. Uh, Yes. Greatness. Greatness and excellence. Excellence too is under diligence. You can be hard working and not be excellent, Mm. but excellence is a word that is a Mm. buzzword for me. You know. So excellence. I know you use it often. Remember one meeting. (laughs) <laughs> I remember one meeting where I said that you used it, so yes, I get yeah. that. I you get know, that. Oh. And, and I don't know whether to throw in legacy as one of the three words, but everything I'm doing is onto a legacy. Like when people mm. remember my name, what do they remember me by? What do they, you know? So no, no, no. So I won't put legacy in here. If you say I can only choose between hard work, diligence, and consistency, I will leave hard work. Hard work. No, you can actually have three. You can actually have three. Guys, sorry to interrupt you. Anybody that is on their, um, that, that their audio is running, please, I would like you to shut it down. I can only do so much here, but some people's audio and video, actually, they are in the way. I'm trying to mute everybody. I'm trying to mute them all, but I'm still having that struggle. Sorry to cut you. Um, no problem. Lala. Let me just take care of that. I see a lot of people whose videos are on, whose um, audios are on. Please, just mute, 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 please. Thank you. Mute, mute. Thank you. I think it's better now. Please go on, Lala. Yes. So, um, hard work, excellence, greatness. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Timmy, what about you? What's your response to this? No, I've you. I, 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 my network went funny. Okay, so I'm saying, what would you say are your key core values 
those values that guide um, literally everything you do, almost everything you do. What I, describe it in three keywords? Um, hunger. <laughs> that's, a hunger. that's a motivation. That's a motivation. Stomach hunger. That's, I mean, that's like, motivation. Yeah, hunger that's, that's not a value. Though. It's not a value, but yeah? it's a motivation. It's not, it's not a value, yeah. but it's a motivation. It's not things can relate. It's a motivation. Discipline. <laughs> Discipline. discipline. I like that. Discipline, mm. okay. Um, I would not say, I, I would put discipline another passion, but a lesser level of discipline, yeah? Then, okay. Um, I think that's basically just, I, like, as a person, I would rather work with somebody that is disciplined than somebody that is just passionate. Because I feel like mm. inspiration mm. is patchy. Mm. You know, every time you feel like, to do thing, mm. but if you have mm. a certain level of discipline, You'll you always go. Mm. Whether you want to go or you don't, mm. you know that there's somewhere I'm going to that I have to go to. It's, a, it's not a whether I want to; it's a have to. So, so mm. discipline mm. is really That's the thing for me. If I set my heart to do something, I don't, I don't say, oh, I'm passionate. Most times, I'm not really passionate about it. Some days it, it rains and the, the rain gets me angry. So I'm not passionate that day to do what I have to do. Yes, but yes, I agree, I agree. You get something that doesn't actually concern the thing will just come and affect what I'm doing. Yes, got it, got it, got it. I agree with you because, I mean, I was, saying, I was saying to someone in a video recently that building your brand, any kind of brand, whether personal brand or your business brand or whatever it is, along the way, there'll be times when you're not in the mood, but you're committed to this thing. So you yeah. just have <laughs> you've committed to this thing, you've given you've you've given your word to the world that ah, this is who I am. So even when it's difficult to cost you money, it costs you maybe gigs, it costs you things, you just have to show up. Just show up and just really, really uh, um you know, okay, do what do you it. do. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, I mean that's one of the things um that are critical to personal branding. So people had a few questions, but I'll I'll quickly go through my questions and I will answer theirs. So what would you say makes your brand stand out compared to colleagues so let's start with ladies first so what made you what would you say makes your brand stand out from others hmm. what do you think it is no because branding is that you have a space in the mind of people not that you are better than anybody that's not even the point yes. so yes. is that, yes. is that, ah, this is my own niche this is my own thing this is my own way of doing things not that you're better not necessarily but that this is my own approach to this same thing you know so what would you yeah. say lala I think for me, for me, it will be my work. I think that when people think about me, the first thing that comes to their mind is her work, my work ethic for those who have met me. And even for those that haven't met me, it is how passionately I talk about my work and the many things that I do. And, yes. And I, and I remember that even, like you said, those early days when I was just starting out and I was like, oh, I can't, I don't want to do photo shoot for photo shoot's sake. And I remember then my manager, she, was, she said to me, she said, then tell us stories about your work mm. because that's, that's a core part of who you are. Mm. So when people think about me, I think the first thing I think about is my work because mm. I found a way to connect everything to my work. And then there's mm. my faith, which mm. I still find a way to connect to everything. So there's work, faith, mm. family and friends, like I, my relationships. So mm. those, those, those three things matter also because another, another thing I would say for me is I'm a, I'm a sharer. I'm a mm. sharer. So, and that's, that's also a technical thing because you still have to share and I still have to keep my private life private, but mm -hmm. I'm a sharer mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I believe that one of the things I'm here to do, one of the things that's true to me is when I share my experiences and people can learn because for me, I'm particular about helping improving the quality of people's journeys. And that's mm. something that's important to my brand. So in everything that I'm doing, I try to improve the quality of people's journeys by sharing, sharing how this happened for me, sharing how that happened for me, sharing how I was low, but you know, just finding ways to communicate, but share my journey. So I think that's another thing that uh, makes me stand out or yeah, mm. for my, for my brand. Mm. Mm. So um, if anybody's, for those that are listening and the people that are nerds like me, for everything you guys are saying, I'm taking notes, literally like I'm writing notes. So there's something you said here now. You said, as you have, you know, you proceeded on the journey, your manager said to you at some point that you should tell stories about your work. 
I might not see you as often as I'd like, but I've kept up with your work because you have shared. So storytelling is a critical part of your brand building. Storytelling. Yeah. Yeah, me will not let us trace. Yeah, people. Yeah, people have become our. They have become our best friends. Of our yes, exactly. He shared. So yes, of course, some parts are private, but some parts, especially the parts that speak to your brand, that are good for your brand, you, sh- you know, that are for the public to, sh- you know, to learn. We, 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 we share a lot of things are happening with them. I have a lot of people who are good brands, personal brands, you know, or have the potential to be good brands, but they don't share. I'm like, look at all the mighty works you have done. You have not shared anything on your social. You have not interacted with people and really shared even in person of all the good work that you're doing. So a lesson for anybody that's listening to this, watching the replay, whatever, for your, everything that you do with your personal brand, learn to share. So, Timmy, yeah. I'm going to take you to the next question. So what are, who are the top people? Well, I know you both were, <laughs> in a personal brand don't like to answer this question so much, but I'll just ask it anyway. So who are the people that inspire you so much in your space? You know, you've died, in terms of how they've positioned their brands, how they, their names, you know, your brand is your name, is your reputation, is your image. Yeah. The way they have projected their images, the way they have built their names, you know, who would you say are the top would have inspired you and, and said to you? Because your, your, your journey is not necessarily the most popular journey. No. You know, so yes. So are the people that you looked up to as, ah, this, the way, this person, the way he has built his, I like the way he has done it, has encouraged me and inspired me on my own personal brand. Yeah, those- those few people, yeah? Yes. Is that it's covers. Okay. Like okay. I would first of all, first time I met Covers, I was wondering, are you sure this boy does not see? <laughs> so he like yeah. his his work ethics. When mm. he wants to walk. Mm. When he wants to walk. <laughs> when he wants to <laughs> yeah. Like it's it's non stop, huh? It's like it's like he had it the, the yes, it's like he had it premeditated. The whole plan of how the thing is going to go. Mm. It's like he has, before he shows up to do a thing, he had already mm. segmented the things into time. Okay. Which, which as a person, not even before before music, had a problem with that. I used mm. to want to go with the flow. I used to just want to go with the flow, just go. No, not not mm-hmm. able to manage my time. Well. Yes. Okay. Not able okay. to manage my time. You know, one of the problems that we creatives have is that we want to do everything at once. Like, yeah. if you have to, yes, you want to write, if you have a brilliant idea, you don't think that you should do a bit, then brood over it, then come tomorrow and continue. Because you're in that place of going, 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 going. Even if you have, you have one thing, you still want to go, 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 knowing that ah, this idea is now um, a tricket of what it was from the beginning. Just, but mm. just because sometimes it's just to say, I did this thing in one city. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I used okay. to have a problem too, and so I used to say, "Okay, I'm working with Kovas. So we can be working in the studio." Mm. All of the time, Kovas said, "I'm I'm tired. My mind is not having this thing anymore. I can't mm-hmm. kill myself." You mm-hmm. get? Mm-hmm. I, that is one of the things I learned from him. Like, hey, you can't force creativity. Mm. Mm. Okay. You can't okay, force fair it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Once it's, 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 mm. once it's, yeah, give it time. But do everything else except that thing. So it's like an incubation period. That's I'm just talking about one of the persons that influenced me. Another person, okay. his name is it's the book I'm reading now. His name is Pat Partisan. Pat he has taught me so much about Pat Partisan. He's a, okay. he's a lecturer at the College of Music. He has taught oh. me so much about music. One mm. of the most important things he has taught me is that there are two, there are two different kinds of musicians. One sing to, for some sing for the applause, others mm. sing mm. to create an experience. Mm. You rather choose who you want. You mm. choose who you want. Like that's mm. it's either mm. you want to dish out so that you get an applause, or you it's mm. either you dish out so you give people an experience. Give people an experience means they never get to forget you. They grow old with you. Mm. Like they mm. can pass it to their children, just like every Presley. Some people didn't mm. meet. They, some people never met every Presley. But they're wearing his jacket, doing his hairstyle because they're paying. Yes, that, <laughs> yes, that, 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 yes. It's almost like a legacy brand because it, I mean it's classic, transcends generations and all of that. Okay, okay. And Fair some days, and that, I don't have studio sessions. Some days I don't have studio sessions. I'm just gonna sit down to come on to TV just to watch, just sit down and watch how the process. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I, I have this 
I've already put, put this stuff on my on my email. So every time that girl is, writes a blog, what is it? Yeah. I receive it. Yes, you receive your alert. So like, yes, I'm always excited for uh, what's this guy? What does he want to, to see him? Because okay, you always so say so something so. that where you are. It's like stairs. It's like every knowledge is another stairs that okay, okay. this is it. What is this writer's blog? Okay. And so those two people really inspire me. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Thank you for that, Lala. You want to tell us? I know you have lots of. <laughs> you have lots of people that you look up to. There are so many. If we start, we'll not finish today. No, no, no but I, I, I think you're also asking in terms of like branding and positioning. Yes, especially with the, yes, regards to their brand. Yeah, I mean, their brand and position. Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren is an actor who um, I love how she has positioned herself. Okay. She, she's a timeless actor. She mm-hmm. works in television, film, and stage. She's mm. a she's an activist mm-hmm. she shares like i just love how helen Mirren. like for example in terms of like performance and everything i i would pick meryl strip over helen Mirren. but in terms of mm. branding and positioning i mm. would helen Mirren is my number one mm. you know mm. Mm. after, helen Mirren, <laughs> after helen Mirren, in fact yeah. Okay, so like I'm like there are some things from her that I just copied. I just tell my people this thing that Helen Mirren did. We are going to do it. We are going uh, to do it. Um, another person is Viola Davis. Mm. Of course, like, as an artist and as an actor and as a black woman, excellent. Mm. But mm. her journey also because I mean even when I, w- I went to film school abroad, she was one of the people that my teachers would say, oh I should I should study Viola Davis and everything. Mm. So. Viola Davis, for example, this is not this is not even about her acting style or whatever. Mm. It's mm. really about her journey, how she has okay. communicated. You know, she mm. has she has positioned herself as this black woman who is here. You know, she's conscious. She's a conscious black woman. She's conscious mm. about skin. She's conscious about mm. you know your hair, being comfortable, mm. beauty, the way she communicates those things. And then she has a production company with her husband. Do you understand? So mm. Helen um, Viola Davis is. The second person, and in Nigeria, the third person is actually Omoni Oboli. Mm. What Omoni mm. has done with her brand, how she has mm. communicated her brand, her work, and how she, it has translated into income. And mm. look, on dread. Very important. I mean, why why have a personal brand if if you know it, it doesn't translate? Why are we here? <laughs> you right. I have I have a I have a branding shed class scheduled with Omoni, like just to learn. Ooh. Yes. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so believe me, guys. I'm even as the host, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'm taking notes. Yeah, because it is a very practical session. I want people to take away whether you are in business or you are in social enterprise or a teacher or whatever it is or a coach. There should be lessons that you should take. There are some principles that are universal, irrespective of the industry. You know. So, so what's the one thing? Um, Timmy, let me throw this at you. So, what's one thing people close to you usually say about you that is consistent? Even people that are not close to you, people that have met you in for you know for for foreign audiences, audiences that are not necessarily close home. What are the, what are the things they used to describe you? What are the words they used to describe your music and your person? Um, first of all, uh, like like while I was working in London, let me use that. Let me look at people that know me here. Okay. Okay. Your voice is outstanding. That's one. Like, okay. You okay. The physical part of who you are. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That. Okay. And then your expression of lyrics is mm. is deeper than what you hear. Deeper than what people can can fathom at the moment. It's like it's like mm. it's always um the guy from the guy from Virgin. His name is Ted Cocker. He's like the okay. CEO. He said to me one evening, like okay. I, I, nobody has actually told me like like that. Mm. Like people say, ah, people say, are so deep, so, so, so full. But he said, the thing that would make you stand out over time is that even if you are singing in a room, everybody would think that you are singing to them in particular. Mm. I don't mm. know how it happens, but it's just like, if I mm. say, it's not a day that I don't wake up days to find. It's like, everybody's having that thing, like I'm really... telling you particular. So I can relate sure it. Mm. Say, don't lose that thing. Not plenty of people have it. He was mm. not telling me people have it. He was not saying people like Marvin Gaye had it. People mm. like Barry White had it. Like mm. everybody would be shouting their own, oh, 
Oh, that's me. That's me. Oh, he's talking to me. And don't, I but, feel like those brands that you described, just mentioned, they, are, they, they, they have some kind of similarity with your... Yeah, in work. terms of voice, texture, and... Yeah, yeah. The, texture, the, the, even the, expression, the, the, and your kind of lyrics. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. And it's, it's the astonishing thing that... He told me something that is very important, like, mm. you know, wait, before you sing anywhere, just talk. Just talk. Mm. He said, okay. just talk. Then sing so that when you talk, they will not know that when they, they'll say, Ah, you can this voice do this? Then you sing. Then mm-hmm. at that point, you get is, is it you see the thing about white people, they plan everything. <laughs> and yeah. they mm-hmm. just see they see mm-hmm. reasons for reasons or strategy upon strategy to mm-hmm. how to get things done. He said, just say hello, how are you guys doing? First mm-hmm. of all, people say, Ah, they first of all say, Ah, can these guys can this guy's voice do this thing? I hope mm. I don't hear him for some, um, some comedy show. Then you mm. sing. So, like, your first sound snatches the attention. And, and that mm. is your whole job. And as you snatch the attention, is this, this is the personal discussion we had in this office. You get? Mm. Okay. Like, he told me, like, okay, this is your voice. This is what, this is what will never go away. This is how people will remember you. So when they mm. play your voice, even in the bad radio, mm. Somebody mm. can say, ah, oh, that's Timmy. Mm, 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 mm. So two things are taken from what you just said. The fact that you have been authentic, because I mean, that voice that we've heard from those early days that, you know, many of us got wind of you has been consistent, and that's what you still yeah. deliver today. And then not only the voice texture, because a lot of people do things with their voices, you know, when they're trying to just prepare, you know, present music to the world. But even your expression, I don't think that it has changed. That same, you know, will belt things from your belly and just be yeah. That faces still, yeah, that's as remain the same. So, what what I want to pull out of that is being authentic, being true to yourself, true to what it is yeah. actually your own your uniqueness, and that's very critical with branding. Because yes, because any for any brand, whether like I said, because I will take it lessons to all kinds of brands, for any kind of brand, whether personal brand or business brand or whatever it is, you have to be authentic and true to who you are. Because if you fake it, in time it will show. Yeah. So, for example, if maybe you started singing, you chose to sing some along the lines of, or sing lyrics, music, or use a personal style that, or a style that you think is popular. In time, you get tired, you can't sustain it because it's not you. So that authentic authenticity yeah. is very important. And then I not I noticed something else. You know, having people that are strategic partners or. Or, or people to just guide you along the way and help you make the most of what you have is also very important Everybody as you build a brand. You know, as you build a brand. I think, yes, so I think that's really, really key. You know, so from the things you guys are saying, I'm picking so much I can share with my communities, those that are not able to make it here, you know, and, you know, things that they will learn from. And I appreciate that about you guys. So, now let me take this question in different, just so I can give it, give it a tweak and bring it to you. Say, What's the one thing you heard fans say about you? Like they keep saying, that keeps coming through. Um, ah, you can act too. But how <laughs> come we have seen a lot of your acting? Mm, mm, like, ah, ah, mm. You can act? Hey, ah, how, do you, how can you become so different? How did you transform? In seconds, yes. Even how I have wondered. Can- <laughs> even I've wondered at some of your productions. Okay, yeah. You know, so even when they watch a film, they'll be like, "Ah, ah I did not even know." Please, where is where is more? We need to see more. Or mm-hmm. did, were those tears real? <laughs> <laughs> right. You okay. Know? Right. So okay. I, I get that all the time. Oh my God, you're so good. Oh my God, you can act. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, but they always say, "But why not getting enough?" And mm. what does that say to me? I'm not doing enough or mm. my work mm. is not getting as far as it should mm. or mm. I'm not doing the production that I get into the real masses, the audiences, you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah, but that's one thing I always get. Yeah. So, I mean, if that, that's what, what that means is that platforms as your, as a personal brand, you cannot rest on your, as you have to like, keep going, keep going on various oh, platforms. So more people can get, yes, enjoy your. And unfortunately, in my case, I mm. mean, until like I haven't even I haven't produced a film of my own that I own I own the rights I can distribute it and everything. You produce a lot of other for other people do. Yes, as an actor, I'm still at the mercy of the distribution plan of the producer, the distribution mm. plan of the real owners of the film. If they mm. make a film 
and it doesn't go as far as it should. It's not my mm. job to make sure, but it mm. then it makes me sad that mm. it didn't go as far as it should. No, it's, it's true, which is why I always tell actors, one of the things I told myself, I said, look, there are some producers I have to work with. It was mm. a personal branding strategy because I'm like, it doesn't matter. It, for me, it didn't matter what the film was or what the role was. The mm. goal was to be in a production that this person produced because I know that many people will see it because mm. this person has a reputation for distributing far. They figured mm. it out. This is not to attack the people that have not figured it out. I, I haven't produced a film. I've not figured out distribution. But mm. the people that figured it out, I can render my services to them because mm. at least one of the brand assurances for them is that the mm. film will be seen by a critical, a large number of people. Yes. And then yes. when I now look at my brand as a as a producer as mm. i'm growing because I mean, i've done more and i've grown more as an actor but as a mm. producer which is where i'm growing in like i can mm. say i've mastered producing plays for example one of mm. the things with my plays i want to be able to say that my plays will sell out my plays will be well marketed my plays mm. people will come and see it so even mm. for an actor trying to work with me you know if i get into a lala kidoji production on stage People will mm. see me. And me too. When people think of me, they're like, ah, that girl, mm. when you see her name as a producer or something, it is of a yes. certain caliber or something. So, yeah. So, I'm going to your question. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, you did. So, platforms are very key. So, because one might think, you know, feel like, oh, you've done something, but more people need to see your work, you know, yeah. to appreciate it, to be impacted by it, whatever it is you do. In my line of work, we're very audience dependent. Mm. I always you know, you can, every time anything I'm about to do is about to be shown, I'm really nervous because I'm like, you could have been doing all the work. And you know, mm. I would say, we're cooking soup, we're cooking soup. If we are the ones that say the soup is sweet, it's useless. So mm. we're so, you can work hard on something and the audience won't like it. Mm. And mm. So that alone is going to be a problem. The audience mm. might love, you know, and which is for, for me, it's so exciting though, as a mm. creative, when you create something like now that I started directing plays, I'm watching mm. a play and I'm just, I'm seeing something that I thought to put. Then the mm. audience watches it and mm. they connect with that thing. Or on mm. social media, somebody says that thing. It's like, yes. boom, we're moving in the right. So we're also very mm. audience. So I'm always like, hey, God, would the audience like it? So we have to get it to the audience. If not, mm. only my friend, I'll be seeing my work. And Yes, you know. yes. And I like what you said about audiences because at the end of the day, you can't branch or build or create anything and put it in your pocket. Exactly. The audience is very important. So audiences are different. You know, one thing I always teach my students and you know my tribers is that you can't say that everybody's your target audience or whatever yes. it is. Yes. Some songs for the music for the people in the music industry, going for movies, there are different factions, different cliques. Everybody has what they like. And those people are not bad or wrong or right or whatever. Exactly. As long as you know your audiences and you take care of them and you face them and you target them, I think that, you know, you'll be even more, you target them even more, more in terms of numbers of them. I think you'll be, you have built, you are building a decent brand. As long as you have your audience, it's, if you don't have any audience, you create something that some people, I imagine that there are some productions or songs that people don't, some people don't want. <laughs> they might be there somewhere, but audiences are very important. You know, thank you for that. I'm telling you people, I'm writing notes. Guys, if you have any questions, please drop them. So somebody had a question the other time and said, you know, how do you pick a niche for your personal brand? Like, how do you go about it? Like, how do you figure it out? Because there are so many directions you want to take sometimes. How did you, how do you, does somebody who's on the cusp of, you know, trying to figure their personal brand out, Timmy? So what would you advise the person? How do you go about um, figuring out your niche? Again, like in terms of music, I say, the one that fulfills you the most. Mm. 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 It boils down to the one that fulfills you the most. It's not necessarily excitement. It's not necessarily mm. excitement. The one that fulfills you the most. You know that, like I was telling someone yesterday that, you know that there are some health workers that thought they were going to be musicians like five years ago. <laughs> Seven years ago. Right. Mm. Seven, mm. They, knew, they know how to sing. They know. They, they know. Mm. There's so many musicians that are supposed to be something else too. But just because... They, 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 they felt like, okay, I want to be in the forefront of mm. every, I want to be on stage, but they would have been better something else and mm. done better, more fulfilled doing that. So mm. it's the one that gives you most fulfillment. I can say, okay, I, let me, I, I want to go to the talk show. 
I want to do this. I want to do that. Mm. I want to do that. Mm. I may succeed, but I may I may not be fulfilled. Mm. I can't really succeed and not mm. be fulfilled. With this thing. Mm. So it's the one that gives you the most satisfaction. The you know the inner peace is the word I want to use. The mm. inner peace, like okay, when you are done with it, you know that you have impacted life. You are you are truly yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Like I said, okay, there are some writers that are not musicians. Not like you should sing every song you write. You can be a you can be a musician and you can you can be a musician in terms of you can belt out some notes, but you can be a better songwriter. Mm, mm, and it gives you more fulfillment after you are done. It's oh, this is my brainchild. Look at look at her. Look at look 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 at this. You get so it's not always like Lalana. She can actually be. The director of many movies, she can actually be that. But there must be something that we must look at you and say, "This is what we know you for." Every other thing is secondary to that thing. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Everything okay. you do after that is to complement this one. It's not that; it's to compete with it. Mm. If yeah. it, it's, mm. it's, 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 if you do everything, you 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 mm. do not. It's just like today. I want to. I want because there's pandemic. I want to cut my children's hair. I want to mop the floor. I want to sweep outside because I can't. As growing up, I used to do those things and I'm good at them. Mm. I would be less productive at the end of the day than if mm. I say, okay, let me just focus on this my music that mm. mm. gives me more fulfillment mm. than mm. everything else. Mm. Mm. That means the onus is on each and every person to fix it down, figure out the things that, yes, these are the things I'm passionate about, but where am I finding, going to find the most fulfillment? And sometimes even that fulfillment is not, yes, fulfillment in terms of you know, the things that you are able to bring forth and the things you are able to achieve, even also in terms of financial fulfillment too. Except you disagree. Yeah. <laughs> something, well, something has to put, you know, food on the table and as much, you know, and also be the best use of your time. I always ask myself, this thing I want to do, is it the best use of my time and my skill? If not, let me just let somebody else do this thing. Because I'm not strong there. I might know it all, but I might not be strong there. Let me look for, stick to the one that I think that I will shine at or I'll be best at and I would would give me best the best time. And the best fulfillment, you know. Okay, got that. Um, I've got the answer for that. I think, um, mm. I think like if a person is also trying to figure their personal brand out, yes. Mm. Besides these things that Timmy has said, you have mm. to ask yourself, what do you want people to to think about when your name is mentioned? Mm. I think like that's such mm. a critical question. What would they? What do you want people to think when your name is mentioned? When people mm. see you, what do you want them to think? Then when they think about you, mm. what what are the for lack of a better word, not deep thought. So in terms of, like in my case now, maybe a deep thought when people think about me would be my acting skills. That's a deep thought. That's thinking far. But when people think about me first, what are the first, what are the first thoughts that come to their mind? For me, for example, I decided that I wanted them to celebrate my brown skin. It was very mm. intentional. I created the hashtag brown skin girl, but brown girl magic. Do you understand? Yeah. That's an immediate whatever. Do you get yeah. Yes. about what do they want what do i want people to think when they mm. think about me so these things will help you who is your target audience you mm. know who are the people that like what you already have don't start to tweak yourself to fit into a certain audience and you have to be true who are the people that really like what you have if you are providing a service who are the people that can pay for it and be very honest you now have to create things for those people speak mm. to them don't say, I want those people, then start to change who you are. You have to go, first of all, with the things that come naturally to you and mm. your comfort zone. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for that. So I have just a couple more questions and I will <laughs> let you get on with your day. So um, some of the questions here are things that are, they've, we've asked and you've, we've answered. So you both Something very interesting and, you know, mutual with you both is that you have, yes, you built your names in your respective industries, but you've also been very open about your faith. Now, I imagine that there are some people that are, you know, trying to build something or the other um, in your space and beyond. Hmm. Ewa, you are hanging, you know. Can't find you more. Hey, why you are hanging, oh. Timmy, can you hear me? I can hear you, Lola. But yes, I cannot see you. Can see you, why? Shh. 
She's not you bad. Let me offer entertainment while she's hey. gone. That's okay, that's okay. You walked into the room, and Raymond Okmani is now the host. Uncle Ray, you're now the host, too. Okay. You walked into the room, and my heart's been stolen. You took me back in time to when I was unbroken. Now you're all I want, and I knew it from... The very first morning when the light came on and I heard that song and I want you to sing it again. All of the song you sang, I think you... Is she, she's back now. She's back, but her light is still coming on. And she's okay, on. She's okay. All of the song you sang, I think you wrote them for me. Mm -hmm. Now you're all I want. And I knew it from the very first moment. Oh, man. I heard there was someone, but I know he don't deserve you. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were mine, I'll never let anyone hurt you. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I sing that song, and I want you to, yeah. Ba -na 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 -na. Si, 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 ju. Hey. You know the shame. Plenty husband is too much. Ah, host, you are dancing. <laughs> Plenty taxi drivers without labor. If you must oh, no, but yeah. Say if you marry taxi driver, I don't care. Yeah. If you marry taxi driver, yeah. I don't Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, by the wayside entertainment. Waiting for yes. the light to come on. And we're back. <laughs> we're back. And we're back. Thank you for that. <laughs> and we're back. So, um, sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so we're back. So, who I was, we were in the middle of answering. Was he me asking question? Yes, I was talking about faith. Yes. So, I mean. I imagine, I know that Lala has tackled this question many times. So she's talking to here in the context of personal branding. You know how, you know, you both have been like um, vocal about your faith, you know, even with your work. So anybody, for people that have been in that space, I'm thinking, ah, should, should I hide my faith as I embark on this journey? Should I just be neutral? Should I just be mute? What advice would you give to them? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still personal branding. Amen. Mm. <laughs> <And> personal. <laughs> Your faith is very personal to you as well. Now, mm. for me, I mean, as vocal as I am about my faith, I yes. always say I'm not a gospel actor. I'm a Christian. And I don't separate my faith from my personal brand or from my work. It is a part of who I am. So there is no faith life, work life. No, because a banker doesn't do that. A banker does not say my faith, you know, a doctor doesn't do that. It's all encompassing. So the same way your faith guides you and protects you and um, whatever, whatever, it is the same way my faith guides me and everything. So I have to do, what does my Bible tell me? Whatever things are pure, lawful and of good reports, think on these things. I try to think on those things. Now, as even my personal brand, do I have, AY has gone again, no? I'm back. Please network. I'm sure I'm not the only one that has gone through this kind of drama. Hi guys. Hi uh, guys. Let me unmute. Uh, um, the yard people. Yard people. Hi. <laughs> See them. That's one if you daddy. What are you doing? Exactly. I'm trying to unmute. So, as I was, please, guys, for the sake of the recording, can we quickly take that part? Let me take the question. I'm so sorry about the interruptions with the network. I'm sure we all understand. So, faith, the issue of faith, you know, people have, some people have that question in their minds that, oh, can I really, really talk about my faith, talk about my work, or just keep my faith, to, you know, back, back, you know, to the back? And you said something, Lala. Please go on. So I was saying that with regards to faith, yes, it's very personal. You have to decide your faith is also personal. But mm. for me, my faith is not separate from my work. My faith is mm. part of who I am. 
So I don't mm. separate. So I don't say, oh, this is my spiritual life. This is my, it's, I'm a spiritual person. You know, mm. it is all encompassing. So the mm. same way a doctor is guided by their mm. faith, the same way I am guided by my faith. I'm an actor, but I'm not a gospel actor. Mm. I'm not a gospel producer. I'm a Christian actor. I'm a mm. Christian who will show the values of my faith as I go and as I grow. Do you understand? Mm. So, mm. so the thing is, so some people, Christians, and Timmy will jump on this as well. Some gospel music, they are gospel musicians. They sing only songs about the Bible, about Jesus and all, and that's okay right? Me, some mm. people will act only films that are about salvation and are about Jesus and that's yeah. fine. Mm. That's okay. But that's not who I am. Do you understand? Mm. The same mm. way you don't have a gospel banker, you don't have a gospel doctor, you don't have a gospel engineer. I'm an actor who is mm. in the secular world. I'm a secular being. I'm, I'm, I'm social, but mm. how do I now do my work? So my faith my faith is integral to my brand. And mm. for me, it was important to also share because for me being a person of faith, now this does not apply to everybody. Mm. Because for somebody else building a personal brand, your, your mission might not be to uh, turn somebody's life around. Do you understand? Your, your work might not be a storyteller. Do you understand? Mm. So, mm. so it's, 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 it's not for everybody. It's not a one-size-fits-all thing. Mm. But for mm. me, it mattered because as I started to grow, also as, mm. as you work with people, you will, mm. you will have your boundaries. And I don't even think this is a faith thing. Mm. Denzel, mm. Okay, Denzel is actually a Christian, in fairness. Mm. But I'm like, there's some... Denzel, yes. Okay, okay. There are some people I know that they are not people of faith, but they mm. have brand identity. Yes. Do you understand? They have yeah. brand identity. There are some people that they wouldn't... Will Smith, for example. Mm. Will Smith yeah. Is not a Christian. But we also didn't do Django Unchained. If you know the film Django Unchained, that Jamie Foxx was in. Will Smith yeah. was the initially cast to play that role. Mm. Will Smith, and I mean, even though with hindsight, he later said he wishes he did it. But he said that at the time when Scorsese brought, I believe it was Tarantino, who made that film? I forget. One of those two. When yeah, the script, you know, you know. Tarantino, yeah? When Tarantino mm. brought the script to him, mm. he said that he didn't believe that the answer to um, the slave, the black guy, dealing with all the people that whatever was violence. Mm. Because if you know the Django Unchained character, Jamie Foxx's character went on a killing spree and everything. Will mm. Smith said he believed that the answer had to be violence. Why couldn't it be love or something? He didn't mm. identify with his personal brand and everything. Mm. He believes in love and light or whatever. Mm. And he didn't think that that thing was a love and light movement. Mm. Do you get it? So mm. same for faith. So people will now know that, ah, Will Smith, so we can't take something like this to him. I don't know whether he's mind changed, but I mean, you understand? So like now, for Lala, people need to know because they will know that, okay, and it's okay if they don't even know. When they bring it to me, I check it based on my faith. How is this thing for the greater good? What are the core values here? What is mm. the eventual goal? Do you understand? Mm. I'm not against entertainment. Not everything is inspiration. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. Entertainment, group, fun, that's okay. Do you understand? Mm. But what are we doing to get, like I was telling somebody that I might not, like, I'm, I don't believe in being a commercial sex worker. Mm. But if there is a story, I even have stories about commercial sex workers, films I want to do, to mm. tell some stories and to just flip the coin and just mm. check it out. Do you understand? Mm. Now, if I have to play the role of a commercial sex worker, mm. To tell a story that is for the greater good, I better do it well. Greater good. So everybody has to figure out what's the end to this. You understand? So those are the things. But then again, everybody has value. So the same way me too, I don't want to be dishonest at work. I don't want to behave a certain way. I have to be excellent. It's the same way a Christian that is a banker is thinking now. So it's not that deep. Like, I don't even like how Christians like to come for people in the performing arts. Do you understand? I'm like, look, you don't ask the doctor this question. The adult is, you don't ask bankers this question now. Do you now are you not a Christian? Are you not a Christian? <laughs> and all that. No, just do your job. Exactly. And then exactly. do your job because you are even a Christian. There is more for you because you now have to be excellent. The Holy Spirit is an excellent spirit. You have to mm. be honest. You have to be transparent. You have to uphold the values of your faith. 
So mm. people have more. In fact, sometimes I want to be angry in public. I'll be like, hey, God, I can't. I can't abuse this person. I want to abuse them. Because, okay. you understand? So yeah, so that's it with my yeah. faith. But I think yeah. if you, it's okay to be open about your faith. I think mm. it might push your brand and help you even streamline your audience. I mean, this mm. is a faith space. So like my, the team that handles like my online image, on the mm. brief, you put, they put faith-based, faith-based brand is there. Mm. So they know that they cannot bring some things to me to post. There are some things I won't endorse. <laughs> you understand? It's true. There are some things. There was a video. Ah, I really wanted to be in that music video. But mm. I couldn't because there was a swear word in it. And I struggled. Mm. And it was mm. my friend. But I struggled. Mm. And I was going to act. Well. I wasn't going to be nude or anything. But the chorus had a swear word. I had to beg mm. him. And because in that video, I wasn't going to be, I was going to be Lala. I wasn't going to be a character. Mm. You understand? So, I was going to be myself. He was going to put me in the video. Mm. I had to just let him down and say, I can't. And I wasn't going to be the one to say the swear word. He was, but the ah. chorus of the song was a swear word. So I have to be like, sorry, sir. Mm. Really, really, got know. it. It's got it. So I'm going to throw this, key, this very key question. I'm looking at the question with side eyes since. Well, I'll just throw it to see me. <laughs> so have you had instances where? You know, you, a gig was brought to you, and you know this gig, ah, it's going to pay some bills. Ah, the yard people. This gig is going to pay some bills, but it doesn't fit my brand, and it's against my personal values. Have you had to say no to some gigs as a result of that, you know, that That's conflict? Right. A lot. A lot. Wow. <laughs> a lot. It's, it's wow. part of, it, it's part of yeah. discipline. It's part of, it can't be everywhere. So mm. that money is Hmm. Ah, the network has gone, bro. Please, please, you have to go back. Go back like two sentences. The network is playing messing with us, and this is a very, very critical question. Okay, I said, I said I have. I have mm. I've said no to some things. I said, um, I don't think it's for me. Mm. I've, I, I didn't just walk out of it. I even suggested somebody else. And the person probably never knew that. I was the person. <laughs> ah, that's that's the person. Yeah. It's a hard thing to do in this industry where we find ourselves. It has, mm. it has a lot to do with how you, first of all, how you value yourself, what mm. you see yourself mm. as. And mm. guess what? Those people mm. respect you more than you coming mm. there to struggle and do the thing and struggle and do ah, So this person mm. gave up. Within themselves, they will say it. Nah, so this guy mm. gave up this kind of money. Okay. Mm. Mm. For a company. This one is out of how they belittled what I do. That's why I said, mm. okay, sorry, sir. Uh, no vex. I'm not going to feed you again. It has mm. to talk about for them. I've gone for like two meetings. I mean, I don't mm. really think a, a very long meeting. Mm. When you give me my job description, let mm. me go and work on it. Don't call me back to say, do you still remember the thing we talked about? Mm. You know, those kind of, but I still went. I was at, in, I think it's Intercontinental in VI. I went for the meeting. When I had a meeting, I discussed, I sent invoices to pay me in the evening. So the meeting is for like 11. We're not mm. talking, everybody was there. Then one of the orgas now came. I don't know, he's not the main guy now came. Then I said, Ah, okay, so this is this, 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 this. this. Mm -hmm. He now held the invoice. He now said something that really, ah, he said, Ah, for just to sing. Hey. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this plenty of money just to just to sing. Me, I, mm. just, I, just, I just went back on the chair like that. Everything mm. after that that they said in that meeting. <laughs> I just want to stand up and go. Okay, 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 okay. That's an interesting one. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're just talking, talking. They're just talking, 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 talking. I just, mm. I just, okay. I said, I'm, let me, there's something I have to do. I have to pick up my children or something. I just give them one funny excuse. And and I so the lady was not calling me. Auntie, me we are going. I said, Auntie, Auntie, let me tell you. Doesn't something. value this. Doesn't this person is not my audience because doesn't value. <laughs> 35 minutes, yeah. Mm, it took me right. years mm. to perfect this thing that you are seeing that it's 35 minutes of this thing. The guy just mm. dropped the invoice on the table near me. I are charging us too much, one thing, one thing. Like, mm. it's not just singing. Oh, we don't, it, no, even that one is not really the bad part. On Sunday, mm. don't we all sing in church service? We're all singing now. Wow. Wow, like, wow, wow. See, wow. They called me tired. I said, I don't want your money again. I mean, you have caught, see, no, no, you cannot. You get that kind of point. Sometimes you have to let it go so that to, for self to, 
preserve your respect preserve because what of what will go round? Yes, I mean, what if we go round? I mean, what this what you have this experience I'm sure that will never talk to me or anybody in the art like that again. He will yes. never mm. demean mm. any job like that. Mm. It was a good money, but see, you have to, you have to live with your head held high. Say, Oga, I'm not doing this because you have, I'm not, I'm not your slave. Mm, mm, if I mm. was not bringing value to the table, you won't mm. even consider me the job. In the first That's place. why when yeah. I do some things, and you say, you tell me, ah, oh, man, God, this, you know, you are blessed. No, 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 no. You, you call me because I'm blessed. You don't, you don't go sorting after cost people to mm. do business with. Mm. Don't think, <laughs> I like, me, everybody in the industry you know me, like, before you call me, get my bar mm. ready. Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. I put, whether you know I'm having a show or not, I'm, I'm rehearsing. Whether I'm mm. having a show or not, I'm rehearsing, I'm planning, I'm mm. calling, my band guys, sometimes you think we're just groovy. Because repetition of a particular thing will create you to a certain level that when you show up on stage, mm -hmm. it's, you're, you're almost perfect. Yes. You get? Yes. So yes. I've, I've, people have come to come, come and do something in some beer thing or champagne thing, drink champagne, one thing, one thing. I'll tell them that, that from, Ma, see your hand, and they take the hug somebody where you don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because, you know, like, let, let me state something. All mm. these, uh, just come and be an influencer, come and uh, hold uh, these products for a while, five minutes, it's only online. I don't believe in that thing. Mm. I'm one of the people that don't believe in, uh, just, you, just let, let's just use your family, like you're just washing clothes in the morning, you're just it online. Once you associate with a brand, that's mm. it. That's it. There's nothing like okay, uh, it's not it's not like we want to put it on TV. It's just a one more camp. It's, it's just a one more camp. That mm. me on my email. My wife will come and say, "Baby, ah, ah, they say they should do this thing for this person." I say, "Mommy, picture this thing in ten years' time. Your daughter mm. wants to be the face of one thing, and she has. Mm. I she was a child. She had done mm. one fifteen minutes thing just for instant gratification. Mm. That's it. Mm. Just do." Mm. I, I'm Coca-Cola, I'm bringing you one bottle, uh, one crate of Coke. Just say thank you. I hold the bottle. Mommy, it must be better, it better be worth it. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for that. So everything, yeah. take everything back to what you have established as your, your space, what you stand for, your values. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, that means you have to make a lot. Every personal brand has to make some tough choices along the way. Yeah, you have, you have to, in economics, it's the opportunity cost. This one, this one. Let me give you up this one. You have to make a scale of preference of things that are important to you. For, you I mean, for example, everywhere. yeah, yeah, exactly. You cannot be everywhere. Because I say, I mean, I share something one day. And he told me that, me, I, I mean, in my course, in the course of my career too, there's some, I worked on some plants and you know that there's some, even up to the kind of events, when we hold events, there are some venues you can never use. There's some artists you can never use. There are some people we can never invite. There are some yes. modes of invitation we can never, we can never use to invite people. There are some places you can never even sell the products because it's not meant for them. You know, there are some kind yes. of even ushers at the event you cannot use. So everything has to. If you are when, once you have figured out your brand, not everything will fly for you, and not everybody will love your brand. Not everybody will respect your brand. That doesn't invalidate your brand. You just need to find your crowd, find the the, the purpose of your brand, and move on. Thank you for that because a lot of people will be. Because of rejection here, or because something in a conflict there, they might feel that their brands are not like necessarily working. But that's not necessarily true for mm. um, them. So I'll round off with my own last question from my own side. I think I have a couple there, and then we'll round off. So for Lala, real quick, um, how do you maintain your career as a producer? Someone said this question this morning for you. <laughs> as a producer, an actor, and an event compare, how do you balance all of it I, together because that's a different I, thing I, I, yeah so my first job my first job is i'm an actor everything else that i do happened because i'm an actor it's complimenting mm -hmm. the fact that i'm an actor mm -hmm. and because acting or being in front of people is very seasonal it's seasonal mm -hmm. sometimes it has timing because look right now i may i may be slim or whatever i can't play a 16 year old anymore mm -hmm. right and as you get older and things, there are some things you can't do anymore. So mm. first, I'm an actor. Mm. And so for my, this is 2020. My 15 years in the industry is as an actor. I've been mm. working as a producer for seven-ish, so seven years-ish, you know. And I could not function as an actor if I was not, as a producer, if I wasn't an actor. 
Yes. Right? The mm -hmm. brand trust that even people had to start. Is that, ah, that lala that was acting, that lala, mm -hmm. ah, I like her, whatever. And mm -hmm. note that for everything that I produce, I must still act in mm -hmm. it. Because I must still let you know that I am still an actor. And chances are, I'm even producing that thing to create a platform for myself to act something I think you need to see. Mm, right? Mm, mm. Now, as I compare, honestly, I host events as an income bringer. Mm. Because as you're growing, you also have to look at what are the sides to me, even in this personal brand. What other skills do I have? That, that my personal brand that is sustainable even mm. to my audience and mm. that is hosting events because mm. you find that because i am an actor people have bonded with me on their screens or yes. their screens. yes so it will welcome you it is i'm welcome so when i'm hosting an event there's a smile on the person on the audience's face already yes. Yes. i also have a skill mm. i'm working on stage i'm used to performing and becoming characters i'm used to lying when i'm hosting events i don't carry paper mm. i need my before, but I commit to memory like I'm working for a performer. Mm -hmm. And many times, even mm -hmm. at events, people would, they will come, they will change. Oh, sorry, this person is coming. Or they'll say, ah, the person we want to bring on stage now is not coming. Please just engage the audience. My mm -hmm. skills as an actor come through. Go to play. My, the fact that I'm not afraid of being in front of people, it comes to play. So that puts me, so in fact, not hosting events means I'm shortchanging myself. I'm not using everything that I can. Also, mm -hmm. hosting events is seasonal. There are times, usually in the calendar of the, in the year, in at least in Nigeria and in Hollywood, many mm. people are not, don't film towards the end of the year, but there are many events towards the end of the year. And mm. being an actor does not really pay the bills. Let's be honest. You have to exploit, <laughs> other, things. You have to exploit other things with your brand that mm. you have to pay the bills so that you can continue to do the primary work that is mm. building the brand. So for example, I, I'm in a film. I'm paid not a lot of money for the film. Mm. The mm. film goes to the cinemas. The film makes them whatever at the cinemas. I might not be making the money that the producers are making from the cinema run, but yes. my brand is growing. The film yes. goes on Amazon. The film mm. is going to show on Netflix. Mm. More people are seeing me. Now that money might not be coming to me, but the brand is coming to me. So that mm. the day somebody says, I want you to, like Timmy said, I want yeah. you to this thing. You are not coming because I'm just a person. You are coming because that's the person that X thousand of people are mm. going to see that thing with. So I will now charge you. When mm. you are saying, oh, the person hosting this event, you even want to do poster. Lala is going to be the host of this event. Mm. That money, now, to be fair, the money I can make in a day from hosting the event, I might make it from three films. Mm. Mm. Or two films. <laughs> you understand? But also, in this kind of earn it earn good money so mm -hmm. that you don't reduce your brand by just doing anything with your face. Mm. So, are you, not, are you still there? You yes, know, I'm here. So you don't do anything with your face. So, like, now there are some kinds of films I like to do, but sometimes there are even some films I've done because I was broke when I did it. I just, it was money. Do you understand? I mean, but now, the reality, realities of life. Do you understand? But now I'm stronger. But because I host events, uh, hey, I can earn money and sustain myself. So, I can say no. To some scripts, some things, but yes. I, I communicate these things. It also, the communication is very intentional, and I, you know this, it's very mm. intentional. When mm. I'm putting up a post about my acting, whatever, I will put my acting mm -hmm. hashtag mm -hmm. and communicate. Mm -hmm. And then there mm -hmm. are seasons when it's becoming end of the year. I mean, now there's mm -hmm. pandemic. We don't know what's going to happen. When it's coming mm -hmm. end of the year, I'll start to post my hosting pictures from previous events mm -hmm. to let you know that I'm available for hosting mm -hmm. without really mm -hmm. saying Come and I am you, but I will tell you. Do you understand? Yeah. What yes, what of that thing? storytelling and the sharing. Do you very, very so brand, yes. It's a combination. And because hosting is one day, that's how I look at it. When I'm acting, it's weeks. I prep, I, hosting is one and day. And then so the work is recorded and you can watch it again and again. It's one day. So I can even be like, oh, I'm on a set for four weeks, but I'm on the 20 something of this, I'm going to host this event. I would have told mm. them, and I will do it, come back. I'm an actor. I, I can, you know, juggle. So yeah. Mm, okay okay thank you for that because i mean at the end of the day what you were saying is that everybody needs to figure out the trajectories around their brand that still you know fits into the whole picture into that general picture that you've had for yourself you yeah. know and 
um, make it work and of course still find a way to ensure that you are profitable i mean there's no point having a brand that does not bring any put any no, <laughs> bring any financial fulfillment along with other fulfillments very key all right timmy don't tire <laughs> so timmy i have a question for you this one was sent in from somebody it says you are building a family brand you know people love that by the way alongside your personal brand you're building a family brand was that intentional Mm, I already answered the question, but let me just you are, let me allow you answer. <laughs> you know, is it intentional that you're building that family? Um, family? We've been enjoying your skits <laughs> with the kids. It wasn't at first. It wasn't at first. It was just me having fun, but just okay. being be myself and mm. doing it. And then, you know, like let me give you an example why I say it's not intentional. Are you there? Mm. Yes. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Yes, we're here, we're here. We're here. The whole thing started when I wanted to shoot that video, um, Medicine. Okay. I'd already okay. shot, do you know that when I was in South Africa, I already shot a video for that song before. It, I didn't just, it didn't just connect with what I wanted to say. Mm. And I came back, I said, no, and let's go. It paid, it take $10K, it didn't pay me, it didn't pay me, it didn't me. Because they're telling me, ah, oh, these guys can, these guys can do the work, they can do the work. But after the video, it didn't mm. come out the way I wanted it. Mm. That's not what I wanted to see. That's not what the, the song was mm. saying. So, I now mm. told my wife, like, let's shoot a video. Let's put these children inside. Then they, they are just doing any behind this house, just jumping, mm. doing everything. So I said, okay, this is what. But I didn't want to now say, I'm putting this. That's the first time I actually called them yard people. And yard mm. people, before we grew up, is that, you know, like, we grew up in a yard where everybody knows everybody's business. Yeah. Yes, everybody, yes, see, everybody, everybody knows everybody. everybody, everybody to to even the whole yes. stove. Because yes. that one, that's the first time I did it. And since then, and I mm. know, you know that after this video, yeah, people mm. don't ask of me, like, how you do it? First question is, how do you have people? Yeah, well, it is what it is. We fall in love with them. <laughs> they, they're, not, they're not associate us. Anybody they see, they see my life, hey, how you have people now? So yes. it's then I ask, okay. These people are now, these people like, they are like part of this thing. You know? They cannot, there's no way that if they see me, they exclude me from my children. So let's mm. just go along with it. Yeah, so, a, so after then, I began to do things around, around them. Like okay. be as real okay. as possible. Because the whole video was, everybody can associate with it, it, with it that there are times that you leave a man in the house. Like one of the most, let me say, shaming thing that happened to me that time my wife traveled was that. I thought I knew where the kitchen and things were. I thought I knew. <laughs> oh my God. I was looking for tin cutter to open tin tomatoes in my house. Like problem. Kitchen. Like if I called my wife to tell her, ah, baby, where's the tin tomato? It would have been mm -hmm. very, very ah, it's not it's when she's cooking and sitting down inside. How can I mm -hmm. know where tin tomato is? Mm -hmm. So it took me hours to find the tin tomatoes. In in and guess what? It, mm -hmm. it was in the place that I've searched like three times before. Mm. So it's the kind of thing that people can relate with. Mm. Ah, let's mm. not be, let's not do the bogus, bogus things. Let's always, when we want to tell a story about it, let it be things that people, when they do things that I see that people can relate to, I kind of post it like, ah, this thing, how it, it probably happens everywhere. Uh, and I think it has really expanded your storytelling. <laughs> people are giving more different love. <laughs> we, we love to watch those kids and, you know, we fall in love with them. So I, I, I love that about it. Okay, so um, I think I will jump right into our question so I can round off. So someone says, thank you for this knowledge impartation. My question is, what would you advise a business coming, in, coming out in a saturated market? Okay. I'm sure you can speak to that still. What would you advise a business coming out in a saturated market? Most markets are saturated, so I'm sure you can speak to that. Exactly. So, Timmy, do you want to take that or Lala? Just add a bit, let me add a little from my small, small years of knowing about what it is. Is that okay. you must know where you're going to. You must have a of where you're going to as a person. Mm. If not, anywhere, anywhere will look like that place. Every little okay. thing that excites you will look like mm. that place. Mm. Every idea, you begin to pick ideas that were not even in, in your initial idea as you're going mm. because it's working for somebody else. Mm. You must be intentional. It's okay. This is what we do. And this is, these are the ways that I want to get there. So when somebody calls my, my brand or my company or this thing, 
they, they would associate it with this particular thing, not everything. Mm. You're not, you not selling provision. You're not a malam. Mm. You get, mm. you don't sell everything. Yes. There must be mm. something that, okay, ah, I want to buy exercise book. They will remember you that, ah, this guy has the best hardcover. Yes. That doesn't spoil over time. But if you're selling exercise book, you're selling tin tomato, you're selling everything. Before the person gets to where you are, the public person has seen tin tomato from bought from that place. If your place is not a that you get, you have to be very, very sure of where you're going to. Mm, mm. Okay, so I mean, if I hear you correctly, you know, pick a niche, pick a direction, pick a space that you want to be excellent at. You know, so even in that saturated market, you can know that, ah, this one, oh, this is this is the guys, these yeah. are the people I want to get for, you know, you want to go to for this, you know, which is the whole idea of branding. Thank you for that. Also, Thank you for that. Also, I want to add to that, what yes, Lala. What problems can you solve mm. that in that space, people mm. always want to solve problems. So, yes. what problems do you solve that other people are not solving, and yes. what really makes you stand out? Mm. So, just like the question I asked me that what mm. what what's the feedback I always get from audiences when people see you, what do they say to you? That is the mm. thing you should be on in that already saturated space. Do mm. you understand? Look at the makeup mm. business, for example. Mm -hmm. Tara's brand is very from bankers' brand is very from. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, do you understand? They are, they, yes. they are all there. They are coexisting. These are the queens of the thing. There are three of them. But mm. you know, when you see Banker Mechia, Tara is entrepreneurship and the business of makeup. That's what she has mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Banker is beauty. This one, this one. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. What's the other, the third auntie that has triplets? I've forgotten her name. You know, she, mm -hmm. she, does, she does a lot of TY shoots. It has been Pay or no Koya or something. Pay, yes. You know, when you think of her, you think, oh, just fresh. Just, do you understand? So yes, glamour, that, super glamour, that, super whimsical. Mm, mm. And they are shining. Everybody has their own niche and their own, everybody is dashing out. You know, so, as much as that is, yes, makeup, but everybody has picked their own way of doing it. Yeah. Based yeah. on what naturally to them. Yes, even absolutely. The problems they can solve. Mm. Still being very authentic. Fantastic. Thank you for that excellent answer. So someone says, ah, they're coming for you. <laughs> that says, as a Christian Lala who is married, does it affect you the kind of roles you take, like romantic roles? Where do you draw the line? It's a very general <laughs> question. It's not necessarily <laughs> personal branding. Branding question. But, and I'm not gonna, it doesn't, it doesn't even relate. It doesn't, I'm not gonna even answer it because people like I always say that this thing is is a bossy, is gossip. It's <laughs> I'm a person and I'm a brand. And I'm a professional actor. The mm. end. The mm. end. Mm. Mm. Okay, so someone says, these days, trend popularity seems to be rewarded a lot more than talent standard. This is what it is. That one, it's me, you're going to answer this one. How have you been able to stick to your brand considering bills have been paid? I believe we may have answered this, but you can leave a final, you both can leave a final word for them. How can you, uh, how are you able to stick with your brand considering bills need to be paid you know these days popularity trends those are things that are important to or that are rewarded mostly you know so how do you stick to your brand considering bills okay. need to be paid? let me let me let me clear one notion that a lot of people don't get there mm. popularity don't necessarily translate to money to money <laughs> are you serious we just assume that ah you yeah, know so that's, so what you that's the notion that people brother, like that big brother yeah. like this let's say the money is rolling in it doesn't translate to money by any chance. Mm. They're very popular broke people. Mm. They're struggling to put two together. They're as confused mm. as you that think that they're they are succeeding. Mm. Mm. And let me tell you something. Mm. Events that they, they really pay you money are not the ones they advertise. Bam. Mm. As a musician, I will tell you now, the person that, the people that pay me the more money are not the ones that I'm on their billboard or anything. They just mm. want their small party that you just come and sing to them in their small living room mm -hmm. or in I'm their <laughs> garden or in, in, mm -hmm. some, in some place somewhere. They don't, they don't like, they don't like mm -hmm. the publicity thing. Mm -hmm. Do you get mm -hmm. my point? It's not, a, they're not the show people. They don't mm -hmm. care about the, the, their, their form of distraction is not the one that we call distraction. The, the distraction is another level, level mm -hmm. of, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes you just play the keyboardies for 45 mm -hmm. minutes. You have done mm. your thing. You're not even in this Nigeria self. You get and you have collected your money. <laughs> you have collected your money. You have flown business class. You have drank juice. You have become you have, you have 
you have formed the relationship with those kind of people. You have mm. formed the relationship with those kind of people. It's not just about the one-time payoff. Like, just give my money, let me go. In between, mm. you have met them, you have contacts. Relationship is money. It's even a higher form of money than cash. Mm, mm. Absolutely. The currency, yes, yes. Yeah. I can cash in on at any time. Lala, do you want to add to that, please? So it's not yeah. necessarily... Popularity doesn't transfer money. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, yes, I, I mean, that's a valid statement that popularity, whatever, is rewarded. But mm. I, what I always say to the talented people, and I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm in that category, is you cannot mm. say because you are talented, you mm. will not try to grow your numbers and put yourself out there. You mm. cannot say because you are talented, you will not build a brand. Because mm. you find, the reason why even statements like this come up is that you find that the people with, that are not as talented are mm. soft with their branding. They don't flinch. Like their branding, their communication, they've gotten it. When they are stepping out, never, never to be caught on fresh. Like, mm. they are talented, mm. you have all the talent, but you are just jaga jaga about mm. the way you put yourself together when you are appearing. So I'm always even more passionate about talented people. I'm like, you have the talent. You need to pay attention to the communication and the branding. So yeah. to, the, to the person's question, it's been intentional. I would say again, I didn't mm. have an Instagram account because I thought Instagram is, is not for talented people. I'm too deep, I'm too clinical. I was mm. looking down on Instagram. But is market not selling there? Market is selling there. So what will I do? I will use the same things to still be authentic to showing that I'm talented. Sooner than mm. later, they will still come around. And mm. that's the thing. Just like to Timmy's point, what is the sustainability of, you, of what you have? And mm. popularity is only but for a time. Mm. Talent mm. and everything will last. Like mm. the people that have paid me the most to produce things is not because I was advertised. Somebody saw something and a company was a private thing. Do you mm. get? But guess mm. what? It was the talent. And talent will mm. still earn you all the many streams of income I can have. It's my talent now. Mm. You understand? Mm. I'm structurally yeah. able to create is because of the talent. But Talent is not enough. You must mm. still pay attention. So, which is why talented people need to make noise. Talented people yes. need to talk. Talented people must not form and be buried in their talent. Talented people mm. must do photo shoots. Talented people must go out, must wear a wig, must do everything. Well, depending on whatever, I'm not saying you must wear a wig. I'm just saying, depending on what works for you, because you, have, you. Because you have the talent, you have to go, you have to be popular. Be popular, oh, be popular. Make noise. Don't hide it under a bush. Even the Bible says it. Let your mm. flesh and your light. Oh, I did on that. Okay, thank you for that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not enough to have a good brand or good solutions or good whatever it is that you're do, you're doing, uh, or be good at what you're doing. You should also make the noise, promote, promote as yeah. much as you can. Let more people, like we said, platforms. Let more people see your genius. Let more people experience your solutions, experience your what you have to offer the world. Exactly. So, one last question for someone who has a lucrative idea and would love to pitch it to an established brand. To be prevent being exploited, what do you advise the person to do? <laughs> How do you advise the person to go about it? Someone who has a lucrative idea and would love to pitch it to an established brand to avoid being exploited, what do you advise the individual to do? Or how do you expect um, advise him to go about it? Um, I think that you have to understand the law in your space. Mm. Um, mm. You have to understand the law and what the law says and how you can protect yourself. But mm. the other thing I also say is, especially if you are starting out, mm. your idea is not unique to you. Don't be, don't be fooled and don't be high on your mojo. You are not the only one thinking it. I'm serious. You are not mm. the only one thinking it. It depends on who executes it first. So mm. surely that idea came from you. Even if they steal it, there's probably one mm. million more where that came from. Mm. What I'm trying to say is don't let the fear of being exploited, stop mm. you from pitching and pushing your idea and possibly gaining an opportunity. That's mm. on the one hand. But on mm. the other hand, you have to understand the law and protect yourself legally. Mm. So you are going for a pitch, you know, you make them sign an NDA, mm. you know, you, you, you do things like that. Even in my space, people will just, I'll just wake up and I'll see a script in my email. And I will mm. reply to the person say, I did not open this script. You, why did you send me an email? This is even rude. Why did you send me a script? Did I ask you for it? Tomorrow now, you don't know, I'll do something. I'll be, you say I copied you or something. Mm -hmm. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. And you should know that you should not be sending your script randomly when somebody did not ask you for a script, when somebody mm -hmm. did not ask you for an idea. And when you are sending, you just attach an NDA to it. That's for stuff that is written. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. 
ideas you are sharing, you know, my brother, my sister, ideas are few and far between. Mm. Yes, people, let me tell you something. People will copy you. People will steal your idea until mm. you build a brand that is strong enough to make the noise and occupy it. It's all part, it's a rite of passage. But still mm. understand the law, do your best to protect yourself and quickly execute things that you are thinking about you know, put it out quickly, even if it is small, even if it is on your social media, even if it's with your phone. Just mm. put it. I know somebody that when they write a script, they'll take a picture of the first. You think it's just because people are, they just take a picture of the first page of the script, which mm. copy, just because, and that's their way of protecting themselves without mm. spending money, without paying a lawyer. Mm. You know, mm. what's it? Mm. What's the video? What's this? Let me unmute you. Oh, okay, it's muted. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're back, you're back. Can he, we should be able to hear you now. Helen, we can't hear you. I said, I'm about to go. Okay, okay, well, I'm done too. <laughs> I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Timmy. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye, Timmy. Yeah, please, just com please conclude that. La, la, la. Conclude that what you were trying to say. Yes, yes, yes. So I was just saying that people will steal from you. Um, but don't be afraid of that. Push, share your ideas, especially if you, if you need a stronger person, like a funder, a bigger person in your space. You have to, but you have to just understand the law. Mm. Understand mm. the law, protect yourself, communicate as such, mm. but you to understand the space. So don't, don't be foolish in the name of sharing as well. But if it mm. is about ideas, you're saying, look, it's a risk. People will steal. It's a risk. Is either they do it or they don't. So is either you do it first. Now who first do I'm not in getter? Do you get? Is there a risk? Mm -hmm. But for things that you write or songs or whatever, you can copy. That's what I'm saying. You have to understand the law and protect yourself mm -hmm. as legally as possible. Mm -hmm. As possible. Then, yeah. All right. Thank you so, so much. Somebody's huh? somebody joking here. Says, can you make noise on my behalf? <laughs> I run a food delivery service. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Um, I know that some people had issues enter this meeting because i i mean lala had she had that issue so that's why i would have had more people here so i'm going to upload this on youtube so that um people can learn and grow thank you so much lala thank you so much for um everyone thank you for sharing to open you thank you everyone for staying bye. for us thank you bye <laughs> all right thank you guys all right thank you so much for being a part of this i will work on getting this um uploaded on youtube and I will share with you. So if you came in late, you can still catch up. There were so many lessons, so many um, things that I personally, even as the host, picked up. And I would like for you guys to go over them again. All right. Thank you so much. Have a lovely weekend. Please stay safe. Peace. Please join us um, next. That's on Tuesday. Where we have a we have brand building beyond COVID. Join us on Tuesday. All right. Thank you.